I'm Alston Purvis. I teach graphic design at Boston University. I'm chair of the graphic design program. The first edition of the Meg's History of Graphic Design was published in 1983. Phil taught a course in the history of graphic design, and this sort of came out of his lectures. I had the honor of studying under Phil. This book was his life's work, and he felt very, very passionate about what he was doing. He did put his heart and soul into this book. You would see him all the time doing research and adding things to the book. Phil Meggs spent at least 25 years of research on this book. I worked on the fourth edition, and now we are preparing the fifth edition to be published in 2011. The book is a very comprehensive book. It starts around 15,000 BC with the cave paintings at Lascaux, and it covers almost every aspect of graphic design. The only book to use for an overall history of graphic design is Meggs. It's the only one that, that encompasses everything. Yeah. There are many other books that have been written about graphic design history, but they'll talk about a particular era or section of history. This one really goes in depth. It's like an encyclopedia of graphic design history. I think Meg so far is the best book we've, we've come across, and we've used it for several years now. There aren't that many other books out there like it. I still find it to be that encyclopedia of graphic design. Let's go to there first. Until uh, Phil wrote the first edition of this book, Graphic design history was a very, very, very small subject. It's very important for anyone working in graphic design to be totally aware of their design heritage. Graphic design history is critical for students on many different levels to understand their place in history. Uh, professionally, when they're going out looking for internships, if they don't know who Paul Rand is, then they're pretty much in trouble. The organization of the book is beneficial for professors as well as students. The book is organized in a chronological nature. We start at 15,000 BC, we go through the development of writing, the alphabet, of manuscripts, and on, so on and so on until we get to today. Also, we have it constructed according to subjects. The entire book is a visual and intellectual feast. Students love the book, by the way. We had a really wonderful moment. We had a poster show at our school, and one of the students, after touring the show, walked out and said, gosh, it was like walking through Meg's, to hear the student connect the actual posters that she saw live, you know, in person in our gallery space with the thing that she had read in her, in her class. Was, that was pretty neat. I love the entire book. I love working on it. Of course, the last chapter is always the most difficult one to write because you're right in the middle of it. And the entire feel of graphic design changes as years go on. And in the last few years, it has changed radically. This book has a longevity because Phil told me that one of the great pleasures of doing this book is being able to make the next edition even better. There's a constant effort to make it better. Not that it's not a great book already. <laughs>